Welcome to Be The Kid. Hey guys, so episode six, end of the year episode. We're very new to the game, but we're hitting New Year's, so let's talk about some shoes that cooks love that you guys haven't seen yet. I'm not gonna show you guys anything you haven't seen yet, but let's let's start with Converse. So my two favorite Converse releases from 2018, let's, let's start with these, these beautiful green pairs. So this is called the Fast Breaks No Easy Buckets. Uh, this is celebrating Kevin McHale's 1984 for uh, playoff battle against the LA Lakers. There was some serious clothesline going on. You should check out the uh, highlights on YouTube. So that celebrates that. It's got your golden little toe thing there. It's such a cool shoe and your self thick screen. Second favorite Converse is the uh, Pro Leather Mid. It's called The Scoop. It celebrates the 76ers star Julius Irving and his uh, 1980 playoff run. Again, such a sick shoe, very smooth. And you know me, sucker for a white shoe, so. And uh, again, they all have, these Converse all have these 16. It stands for how many games you have to win the playoffs. So in this, in this uh, uh, celebration that they did last year, they released 16 shoes to celebrate. So these are two of them. Let's move on to my two favorite Yeezy or Adidas releases this year. So I, get, I don't know if you guys know, but from my prior episodes, you know I'm not a big Yeezy guy. But uh, this is the Yeezy Boost 350 V2 Cream. Now, I'm also loving the static one that's out there right now. Mine's on the way. We'll show you that in a future episode. But I just think a simple, clean Yeezy is all you need. I don't think you need the Safari or the whatever look. I love these shoes. Great job, Yeezys. And then my second one, Low Pro, not really spoken about, is the Adidas Original Sabakov White with the gum sole. Now they've taken a spin on the three lines and they've kind of wrapped them around the shoe and it's in like a different type of fly knit material. Uh, you can see that. Such a great, cool shoe. So shout out to Adidas. So let's move on to Nike. Now, a Nike does, I'm a big Nike guy. Nike released a lot of stuff, but let's talk about two that, uh, one, let's talk about one that really wasn't spoken of or didn't get much hype, but I'm loving this. This is the Air Force 270 Wolf Gray. Um, it has double the size of the air bubble than, uh, than uh, released in 1992. I just think this has some cool, cool sh designs to it. So that was a low pro, you should check it out. I think you can still grab a pair at retail, maybe, but what a great looking shoe. Now, I have spoken about the, Le I have spoken about, um, I actually, I haven't, let me start there. I haven't spoken about the jo any Jordan 32s. Now this was released last year, 32s. It's called the Finale. Now, if you ask me, that's one of the greatest 32s that was released. Greatest colorway released. Look at those colors, a fly net front with finale in the tongue. So yeah, that would be my second greatest Nike release of uh, 2018 that you haven't seen yet. So now let's talk collabs. Like big shout out to Travis Scott. He did two great collabs with Nike this year. And I'm not even a fan of his music, but I'm a fan of his shoes. So let's talk about the Air Force One he did. So this one, you have your little your little grill there in the front. You just just the touches you have the upside down Nike Air on the back. Um, it also comes with. I'll show you just quickly some Velcro uh, swooshes that you can switch out from these swooshes. So you know, I just think it's a step up from where what everyone's doing. It's a different idea. Shout out to you. And also, I can't without talking Travis Scott. I can't go past his baby blues Cactus Jack fours. What a great release. Just I, I you know. I'm a four guy, so when I saw these in this colorway, he really he really did it. So shout out to Travis Scott and his two collabs. And then let's talk about, I've already shown you the white ones, but I haven't shown you the blue ones. So these are the uh, Levi's jeans. They did white, black, and these were the first release, the blues. I'm just in love with these shoes. Whoever designed them, they went all out. I happen to get, uh, for the shoeies out there, I happen to get the pair with that and the no, lo the no logo. So I find them very cool. Uh, great job, Levi. So those are my two top collabs. 2019 is going to be a bigger year for sneakers. Stay tuned, We The Kicks Army. What's up, guys? It's your boy, Cooks. We're back here for the New Year's edition of We The Kicks. I uh, hope everyone had a merry one out there. 
But you know how cooks love talking customs, right? I always love going on Insta, trying to see who's the latest, the greatest. I had, I had Derry Fernandez, All Shoes Matters. Well, we're here at Area 23, as I like to call it. It's not the vault. Uh, but we're here in the north, in the cold north, and I want to show you a pair of cool customs that Cooks just added to the vault. Uh, shout out to just, at Just Win Customs. This is the glitch, the Air Force One glitch 3D. Everyone seeing that out there? So what he's done is he's removed the swoosh and he's painted on a 3D glitch pattern. And he's not even, he's gone even further than that guys. He's gone and he's replaced the tongue tag with a 3D of the Air Force One Nike Air logo there. And he's gone even further and he's done the 3D on the back of that shoe. So let's just talk about Just Wink for a second. The way I found out about him is again, I was searching Instagram. I saw Just Wink Customs as he liked something. And, I, and anytime I see a new custom guy, I go check his site. Found his site, you guys can go check it out. Most of his stuff, when he releases it, sells out quick, so you gotta get on it. Uh, it did take a couple months to get here, uh, but you know, a customizer has to customize, so you gotta give him time to create what this is. So this is the glitch. I think this is the 2.0. He had an original, but I like this one better, and I went with it. Uh, so yeah, so this is the glitch, guys. What's up out there, Army? So 2018 was a big year in sneakers. One of Cooks's, your boy here's highlights, was uh, getting a spot at the Jordan 1 of 1 at the Jordan store in Toronto. So what this was, was you had to purchase a pair of Jordan 1's Pure Whites. Uh, you were invited upstairs, they had a whole setup. It was an amazing experience. You got to pick out of, I think there was about eight designs. And one of the guys was there, I forget his name, great guy. He told me, the, when you're hydro dipping, the busier design, the better it shows up on a shoe. So I picked this Hawaiian style kind of thing and we'll have some, we'll show you some highlights. I did do an Insta video a few weeks back. You can check that out too on it. So it was a great experience. They actually dipped my shoe into this pattern. You'll see on the thing. And uh, basically this is what came out. And like the guy said, he was right. The busier the pattern, the more it turns out. So shout out to Jordan for doing this. Anyone that has a Jordan store in their, in their area should go ask them to get the Hydro Dipping Air Jordan 1 of 1 experience and sign up. Uh, I almost back, I went back twice. Uh, I wasn't able to get a spot, but what a great experience. Hopefully 2019 Jordan does something else crazy like this. What's up, We The Kicks Familia? So back in episode four, I announced a contest. The contest was how many times I said Jordan 4 in episode four. So the correct answer was six. And our big winner for the keychain, shout out to She Real off of Facebook. She was picked out of a hat with all the correct winners. Congratulations. I wanna make sure everyone out there stays tuned to 2019 We The Kicks, cause there are some big, big contests coming up. Stay tuned. Love you, We The Kicks.